I've done so far, this is gonna be my third uh, ne Never Date Anyone video. You know, I did uh, one about uh, never dating girls over the age of 25, and another about uh, never dating single mothers. And here we are, you know, I figured I'd do a little trifecta kind of thing. Uh, never date anyone at work. And it's, it's simple, it's straightforward, it shouldn't be controversial, let's get to it. Okay, when I say don't date anyone at work, I'm not talking about like, uh, you know, you have like some job or something like that, or you're in school and college, right? And you're like washing dishes or something like that. And I say, you know, don't date anyone there. You know, there, it doesn't matter. Okay, because any kind of job like that, that's just to make some cash, right? I mean, you're between jobs in your regular career and you're doing some shitty little uh, make work thing just to pay the bills and you meet somebody cute there. Ah, go ahead, go ahead and fuck her and have a good time and that's that. No, 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 I'm not talking about those trivial jobs that you have to have along the way. I'm talking when you're in a job that is a rung in your career, okay? Never date anyone there, okay? Because if you're building a career, if you're moving forward with your life, you, you want to have a successful life, you want to improve your job prospects, grow as a professional, whatever that profession might happen to be, uh, you know, you do not want to be dating anybody at work there in those circumstances because it'll be a disaster. And let's work it through, work through the problem, see? Okay, so you're at some company, for instance, right? And, and let's just say you have a position, it's you know middle of the pack, it doesn't matter where. And so what's gonna happen is that you're gonna have subordinates, you're gonna have peers, and you're gonna have superiors, right? So let's go through each of these. Suppose you start dating a superior. Okay, your, your, your boss or your boss's boss or, or somebody, you know, parallel to your boss or whatever. Okay, fine. You're dating this person, whosoever this person may be. And this woman who's a boss or at the level of your boss or higher, well, say things don't work out. You know, how do you think that that's going to play? You know, say you're banging your boss, you know, and, and she's pretty hot. You know, she's some MILF or whatever. Right, and you're banging away, and you know you're not thinking that it's serious or anything. But what happens if she takes it seriously? What happens if she decides that you know she wants to marry you or some shit like that? Right, and you don't want to. Oh, uh, what? Wh where is that going to put you? Or, or say you break up. Say whatever the fuck, whatever happens, it's not going to be good for you. It's going to hurt your career. It, no matter how well, quote unquote, you break up. Because even in the most perfect breakup in history, somebody's feelings are always hurt. And especially if you're banging some chick that you really don't see yourself with, well, no matter how gently you let her down, she's gonna have hurt feelings. Now, what do you think is gonna happen to you if like your boss or somebody who's a superior to you in your company uh, uh, you know, has hurt feelings towards you because you, know, you broke up? You think she's gonna be happy or unhappy? Uh, you think she's going to help you or hurt you? Huh? Think, think. I mean, come on, right? You got neurons, right? You got some kind of education. You're not a total idiot. So think, don't fuck anybody above you. Oh, and I'm not even getting into the issue of what happens if you're dating your boss or somebody superior to you in the company and you start to advance. Well, other people are going to start throwing shit your way now, aren't they? They're not going to be happy that you're doing good because the word is going to leak out that you're banging the boss. It always leaks out because if two people know a secret, then it's no secret at all. Always remember that, okay? If you are banging your boss or banging somebody at a, at a higher level within your company, within your firm, the word is going to get out, no matter how careful you are, it's going to get out and people are going to resent you. They're going to not like you. Your peers are not going to like you. Your boss potentially might not like you. Suppose you're banging like a, a peer of your boss, right? And it gets back to your boss. Well, that boss, male or female, is not going to like it because you're basically going to be like, you know, sort of like disloyal to him or her because you're going to be banging this other person and it's, it's going to create problems for, for you. People don't like it when, when uh, their peers or their subordinates are banging other people in the company because it inserts, it injects a whole host of new problems, okay? So what do you think is gonna happen to you? 
your peers or your boss or whoever is not going to like you, they're going to resent you, and you're going to suffer the consequences of fucking some woman who's, you know, above you, be it a boss or, or parallel to your boss or whatever, see? So no good can come of it, okay? Okay, now what about banging somebody who's a peer of yours? Well, if you're fucking some girl who's a peer of yours, well, multiple problems ensue. Number one, see, if you're fucking some girl who is your peer, then there's going to be an element of competition that's going to be injected into the relationship. It's going to be inevitable. If you guys, if you and the woman you're with are at the exact same level, there's going to be jockeying for position. There's going to be some friction on that regard, okay? And bosses are not going to like it because, again, this whole issue of uh, the, the romantic entanglements inject a level of complexity into the relationship, uh, which is going to make life difficult for you and for her. So it, it's not going to benefit either one of you, and it can potentially hurt both of you. Now, in the third case, that you're banging a subordinate, oh, you're fucked. You're fucked, and I'll explain why. See, you're a guy, and you're banging some girl who's below you on the hierarchy. You know, say, like, for instance, I don't know, like um, an assistant. This happens all the time. See, assistants, you know, they're pretty young things, fresh out of college, right? And uh, they start working for you, and they look up to you, and a lot of times they become uh, romantically available to you because you're the dominant male. You're the dominant male in her universe, and she's spending a whole shitload of time at the job, and so very naturally she's going to start getting turned on by you just by virtue of you being the superior to her in the hierarchy of the company or firm you're at. And this has happened to me. It happens to every guy that they have some assistant, some young kid, some young girl, and she just, you know, she's doing all of the things that she's supposed to for you because it's her job. She's supposed to go and get your shirts. She's supposed to set up meetings for you. She's supposed to return calls and arrange things for you. She's your servant, right? Your assistant. And so quite naturally, with all these things that she is doing for you, she is going to start looking up to you, and as she starts looking up to you, she's going to start developing romantic feelings for you, and she's going to want to fuck you. And believe me, it happens all the time that some uh, assistant who's been just spot on, perfect, and you thought that you had a perfectly business-like relationship, she's going to one day confess her feelings to you. <laughs> and uh, it happens all the fucking time. It happens all the fucking time. I mean, oh man, it, it, it's a cliche, and it's a cliche for a reason. See, cliches don't come out of nowhere. It's not like, you know, somebody sitting around saying, oh, let's just invent a cliche. No, no, no. Cliches happen because the event of the cliche happens so many times. The idea of some assistant falling for her boss or falling for her superior it happens all the time. And when that happens, you got to nip that shit in the bud. You gotta say, no, 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 we cannot have any kind of romantic relationship. And as soon as she confesses any kind of romantic feelings towards her, towards you rather, you have to go to HR, tell them this shit, and request that she be transferred. You want to get rid of her because she's a problem, okay? Believe me. And yeah, she might be hot and young and you want to fuck her. If you fuck her, you're going to get into so much fucking problems, okay? I mean, unless you're willing to go all the way, i.e. marry her, don't fuck her because it's going to end badly for her. And because it's going to end badly for her, it's going to end badly for you because she's going to throw shit your way. Shit your way that's going to come from HR, a shit that's going to come your way from your boss. I mean, the, the, the pile of shit that will fall on you if you fuck some assistant or some subordinate of yours, it's just not worth the hassle, okay? So, if you're ever in that situation when some girl falls in love with you or develops feelings for you, and it's not really feelings, okay, uh, not in the traditional sense because she doesn't know you, it's just that she's doing shit for you, okay, and that will make her believe that she has fallen in love with you, but it's not love, okay, it's just that she is complying and doing so many things for you that she'll confuse love for obedience, okay. And, you know, you can get into a shitload of problems, okay? So, 
Don't date your boss, don't date your peers, and certainly don't date your subordinates, okay? And, uh, never, ever, ever, ever. Always nip it at the bud if anything untoward starts to arise. Now, what about people outside of your corporation? What if you're like, for instance, a freelancer? Okay, now th this is interesting. Say you're a freelancer in whatever, it doesn't matter. You're a freelancer, like say like you're a graphic designer, just to make something up. Okay, so suppose you have clients, okay? Clients are, in essence, your bosses, right? Suppose some client develops feelings for you. Well, yeah, it'll, it'll be great because that client, quote unquote, that client that you're fucking, right? She's gonna start throwing uh, work your way, which will be great. You'll, you'll load up on work, right? And getting a uh, pussy on the side, yeah? It sounds like, you know, the best of both worlds, right? Wrong, wrong. Because what's gonna happen is that eventually, your relationship with the woman you're fucking, your client, okay? Multiple things will happen. Number one, people will find out for the reasons I mentioned before, because everybody always finds out. And as they find out, they're gonna start getting resentful towards you. And other people who are potentially your clients, they're not gonna really like it, okay? Uh, now, of course, you're gonna be on this gravy train because the girl you're fucking is the client tossing you work, but when things start to go sour in the relationship or in the work relationship, it's gonna start affecting both. You, you see what I'm saying? Uh, uh, think of it in these terms. Say you break up with this woman. Yeah, you think that she's gonna keep on throwing work your way? Uh-uh, she's gonna start uh, throwing work at somebody else, right? And say, for the sake of argument, that your work relationship is deteriorating. I mean, you're you're like on the romantic side, everything's hunky dory. But work-wise, you know, your your client is demanding things that you can't provide, or you think are a bad idea, or whatever the hell. If your business relationship starts to deteriorate, it's going to affect your romantic relationship inevitably. Okay, so there, there's no benefit in fucking a client, none at all. Okay. Now, what about fucking a peer of yours? Again, you're a graphic designer, right? And you have like a panoply of clients, right? And of course, you're going to have uh, other people, other peers who are basically in the same line of work, right? Well, if you start dating one of your peers, uh, multiple things are going to happen. Number one, you're going to start competing for the same clients, right? And that's going to put strain on the relationship. Uh, you're going to start competing for the same clients and she's going to get upset if you get the client and you're gonna get upset if she gets the client. And even if you're like really, really like adult, and even if you both say, oh, we're never gonna compete, we're, we're just gonna love each other and, and work will be a totally separate thing, even so, there's gonna be an element of competition. Even so, you both are gonna be striving to succeed and show up the other. Unless the woman you're seeing, your, your, your peer, decides, you know, I'm in love, I wanna have babies, fuck this career, I'm sick of it, and I just want us to have a house and, and me make babies. Well, if that's the case, then sure, then you're not gonna compete with her because she's gonna be out of the workforce. She's gonna be having babies, right? Or dialing it down or whatever the fuck, right? And there, you won't be competing. But if you are both competing, if you're both working hard uh, and, and have no intention of having a family, Right? What's going to happen is that you're going to wind up getting very competitive and very resentful of one another whenever one or the other succeeds. If one succeeds, the other is going to get pissed off. No matter how uh, 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 adult they might happen to be, they're going to get pissed off. Okay? And so the relationship is going to suffer because of it. Okay? So now, insofar as you being a freelancer and, and dating somebody below you, okay, um, offhand, I can't imagine that. I mean, if it's an actual employee of yours, don't fucking date her, okay, ever. Don't fucking date an employee ever. There's no, there's, there's just no exception to this rule because it will always end badly. You date an employee and this employee will cause problems for you. If it, if it ends badly, if the relationship, the romantic relationship ends badly, you can be liable to all kinds of problems and you can be sued. If you have a small business, right, or you're a freelancer, you can be sued, you can be wiped out, you could be destroyed, okay? And, and also, this happens if you're working in a company. Look, nothing good can come of such a relationship. Now, why am I bringing this up? Well, because the problem is that, see, we spend so much of our time working, we spend so much of our time and attention at work 
that we don't meet other people. And so we fall into the trap of like, oh, you know, I, I work, uh, I don't know, 50 hours a week, 60 hours a week. I don't have time to go out and date women and meet somebody new. I mean, you know, it's just too goddamn hard. So I'll just stay at work and, you know, whatever comes my way here at work, I'll date her. Don't. Do not do it. Ever. Okay? Because it's going to be a disaster for the reasons I've explained. Any kind of permutation of you dating somebody at work will end badly. Guaranteed, no exception, uh, no, you know, none of this shit of like, oh, she's different or, oh, we can work it out. No, bullshit. That's just uh, fooling yourself, okay? So never date anyone at work. Find people outside of work. It's hard. Of course it's hard. And the, here's the other thing too. See, when you date people at work, you don't have to explain to them uh, uh, the, the problems that you have at work because they understand you. They understand all the, 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 the ins and outs of your career or your profession. They're going to understand and therefore it's going to be very attractive and enticing to date somebody from your work environment. But trust me, it, it, it will only end badly. And here's something very important. See, no matter how much you love your work, you need to shut off your work brain. You need periods of your life where you're not thinking about work. If you think about work 24 seven, you're going to burn out. It's inevitable. It happens to everybody. So you need a woman who is outside of your work so that you can shut off. You can think of other things. You can think of her job. Maybe, you know, you're a graphic designer and she's, I don't know, a fucking lawyer or some shit like that, right? It doesn't really matter what she is, but if it's something radically different, you know, you can hear her problems and they will be so different from your own that it'll be like a relief. You don't want to be spending your free time with a woman who's talking to you about your work. That's a disaster for you, for you as a human being, as a man, okay? So don't do it. Don't fall into that trap. It's easy because you're spending so much time at work, but be smart. Okay. Look for your women everywhere else, anywhere else. Okay. Not at work.